that paper bag. That's what Sniper can see right now. This is your complaint about this set right now? So he can like look in to both sides, but not in the middle. I see your point, but I still think you're an idiot. Okay, let's go over the lineups now. So for VP, we have Yo on the Sand King, uh, BZZ, Jotam on AA. The G is going to be playing the Clockwork, and Jakiro played by Sadoi. They have absolutely zero cosmetics. Oh, wait, Sand King. That, I think that might be. Never mind. Because okay, else I think we could just call GG and go get fine, right? Yeah, seriously. There's no way we can win a game without For those that. of you new to Dota, obviously cosmetics are a big deal. They. Oh, speak! Look at this tusk hat. That is awesome. That's really cool. The like, okay, sunset. it's your turn. Before the yeah, run spot. We've got tusk played by No Tail. Puppy will be playing as Shrek. Kuroki on Cyclops. S4 will be playing as Zeus, and finally Misery the on that Nyx's ass in the bowling. Haven't seen Nyx in the. Actually, this we've seen one game, handy. but not nearly as consistent as Times I'll of Old. And here we go. This is Sand King getting the bounty rune again. I'm saying it. I'm going to say it again. Potential to get off to a really good start was not the case last time around, but this is another game. Uh, who picked up the bounty? Oh, it was Sniper actually picking up the bounty for her. So we'll see if that makes any difference having the carry pick up the bounty, get a half level right off the bat versus a support. I'd be inclined to say the support's a little bit more important in this case, but come for me. Hey, that look means at a lot. Nice little mana burn. That's really annoying for S4. <laughs> Look uh, at him. Bottom lane. Misery taking some right clicks. He's doing it again. He's taking some damage from the tower now. I love when Clockworks play this aggressively. That's really good to see. Good stuff from G just immediately going on S4's cliff and bothering him. He's almost out of mana. He will be getting a bottle though, but... A little nice head start, you could say, for the clock because of this. Sure, sure. He's just gonna cog again. He might even try for the kill! Battery salt level one was oh. just buffed by five damage. He's gonna get pretty much the red. Oh, the creeps are coming in now. Yeah. Tanking up some of that damage overall. And that's kind of a wasted engage actually, because now that the bottle comes in for S4 soon, he will just get all that health back together with the mana that he wanted anyway. So. Yeah, that's Still true. like seeing G going for it. Bottle's on its way. G, about a couple hundred or 150 away from his bottle. Um. I don't know, Zeus mid is just one of those things. He he doesn't push the lane that well. It's okay, and he's so susceptible to ganks that I mean, just looking at their lineup, if Sanking can get some early levels, it could be pretty big as far as gank potential in mid. We have a smoke by Secret, and like you talked about, this is a really good combination. Tusk Lesh, we'll see if it comes to fruition. In fact, Tusk is level two, so he has both ice shards. And the snowball, and they're just oh, gonna go first one. into G into the cogs. Good counter, <laughs> since you're invulnerable <laughs> while in snowball. As well as by might. That's a very important first blood. It's gonna give a little bit of space to Sido in the top lane, but Kuro is really forcing him away. One shrapnel. We didn't officially Did we... talk about the change to this, by the way. Yeah, Let we, we didn't mention that yet in this game, right? Nope. So instead of costing 120 mana at all levels and damaging towers, it now no longer damages towers, but it costs 50 mana instead of 120, and it has a 40 second cooldown, but three charges on independent cooldown. So you can see Sakura has it again, and he will also have another one if he needs it. Looks like it's a door. Oh! 10 HP, no tell. Tank okay, they really want this kill. TP. One is canceled. canceled. He got oh canceled by Nyx. Jakiro, not even close now. Hmm. Man, does Nyx what a... have mana burn? He does not. He, I don't think he would have caught him. Well, actually, he's what level a... two, so he's holding on to it. Drive by by No Tail. That was really. Oh, wait, close. I thought you said Nyx was TPing. That's not the right team. Uh, did I say no? Nyx stopped the TP of Sand King. Oh, and bottom line, okay. Yeah. That makes sense now. Wait, wait, well, wait. Good start for Secret though. They that mid lane, I liked. G's aggression, but he got ganked, and now S4 is on par with his CS. Ahead on level? No, barely even. Interesting. But they do get another kill in the top lane. However, free farming Spectre should never be underestimated, especially when you look at Secret's team, it's like a team of squishies. So if BZZ gets two big items, any sort of combination with AA or Clock or a Sand Kingstone would just wreck in kills. And we're not talking about like urn and drums, right? I think you should Actual get Urn items. first, regardless. Urn is still really good. You take Urn over Drums, if you have a choice between the two? Uh, unless I mean, someone else means... on the team is getting the Urn. 
Mm -hmm. And yes, I, it's really good on Spectre. But they're both good, so we'll see what his choice is. He's currently almost got the gold for Urn, so it's decision time if he wants to take that path. G taking a Thunderbolt to the face. He has his bottle now, of course. There's going to be reinforcements bottom. No Tail and Puppy going to focus their efforts on this try line, try to disrupt the farm of BZZ. They're going to run into Jotam. Smoke is dissipated. Well, oh, he's fucked. Snowball's eventually going to get Pardon my French. Go. He's going to get wrecked. That's a nicer way to say it. Impale the follow. It's going to be another kill going the way of Secret. Cold Team will actually proc on the Oh, what a stun. Spike Carapace. You will find really nice That's puppy. two for nothing right now. Sedoy in the meanwhile in the top lane. Well, this is where the charges come in handy. You get the vision pretty much no matter what. Now he has his ultimate to work with. Really fast start for Secret. Notice how Kuro is playing without take aim. This is a very rare build. Even even though I completely agree now with maxing Shrapnel, you'd usually have at least one point taking him now, but he's, he's doing a lot of creative build these days, it seems. It should also be noted that Shrapnel does not stack as far as damage or yep, skill. that's true. So... I think the vision is the biggest part. You get such wide variety, or such wide vision now, uh, or at least the possibility for it. And on top of having S4 with the ults, you pretty much can get an assassinate off any time you want, as long as you're in range. So Spectre bought Phase first, which I agree with. I don't know why we were talking about Urn yet, because Phase is such a good first item, so that's a nice choice. And then it's decision time after that. Farming together with y'all and the Ancients, they're giving a lot of farm to BZZ, letting him take these two big ones as well. Rune's about to spawn. He'll be checking the bottom. And Sniper is officially caught up on CS now as well. Kuro is gonna get scary this game, although Spectre will have an easy time catching catching him out. Don't underestimate Tusk's ability to keep Sniper safe. Some really interesting oh, plays. Oh, misses in mid. That might have been a kill with the help of Spectre here. S4. Doesn't have haunted the high you're right, he's gonna the Tusk Snowball again countering the cogs. He's stuck in the ice shards now, which lasts a lot longer, by the way. Goodbye. I don't remember if that's the latest patch or not, actually. It was the it last is. one. It, it is. is the latest one, okay. Yeah. Top lane, Kuroki. Gonna initiate on Sedoi, but Jot's gonna be helping him out. Nice ice path, and Kuroki, and that's the second cold feet we've seen proc. He's gonna get the kill. <laughs> he's gonna find his way to the grave one way or another. One more right click from Sedoi. In fact, he's gonna cost him dual breath. A one for one trade. The second cold feet procced. Maybe you need to level that up then. Level four all the way, man. That's definitely the way to go. Here comes right? Tusk. This is a counterplay. Really nice positioning from G. They're gonna oh, fall. Oh, they right dodged for it. the ice path. Unbelievable play. Sedoi and company. Well, G is here with the battery salt. The hookshot's not for another 15 seconds. Great zoning cogs. I think he does have the to work them. with. Well, it was a great now zoning cog regardless. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. It's gonna take them a while. Coming from uh, no reinforcements. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Nothing's coming for you, G. I'm sorry. But I keep the skill to Kuroki. Indeed, they do. Split four ways as far as experience. Eight is for one. I would have never thought the early game would go this well for Secret. They're playing under pressure. They're delivering. Gotta say, there's the urn for BZZ. And, and he's now level six. Fight. So this is the time for VP to, to land some combos. Cookshot is available. He's of course dead, but he will be looking for a kill soon. Need to get Mana on BCC for the haunt. Need to try to get the Sand King active in the game as well. Hasn't really found much. He's level four at eight. So Doi's gonna die as well. Trying to yeah, dodge screwed. the Impale, but I think the right call. Oh, oh, he's he's on the Kuroki, but either way, the Jakiro does die. Kuroki. So it's gonna be a solo kill for Clockwork, nicely done. Misery, impale up in four seconds, not gonna continue the pressure. So the hookshot counter initiation for the win. That's a good start. But what they really need is Ancient Apparition ult to come online, although it's still, I mean, he's level four, which isn't unheard of at this stage of the game, but still, if they're gonna start having these, this global presence attack. with the Spectre, uh, Ice Blast would be nice to have as well. Ah, <laughs> is he actually get this ward? There you go. <laughs> Knowing that there's very little mana on Spectre, can't even get get off his Spectral Dagger if he wanted Dyer's to. Middle tower is under attack. S4 with Arcane. Gonna TP to bot lane. It's gonna be shown here from the, the Ancient Apparition. They don't know Misery's here with Vendetta. No, that's not Vendetta. Oh, Jonas. Oh. And the Snowball initiation is too strong. 
That means 10 to 2 advantage for Secret in this very early stage of the game. And BZZ still has not used Haunt. I mean, obviously he hasn't really had a good opportunity yet since he just picked it up. And been at half HP from, since that duration, but... Still oh, should be noted. Four. He needs to be careful. If he gets cocked, he's gonna die. Well, he does have haste. Clockwork could get Radiant's off a nice cock. Tower, <laughs> to juke him big time. He's just gonna stand still. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could just walk up and cog him, really. And there we go. It's gonna happen. Uh, okay, to follow. S4, that was... S4 is dead. Gets off his ult, though. No-Tail no gets pushed back thanks to the cogs. BZZ, look at the pure damage. From Desolate. Radiant's Not gonna be enough, however. No, what the hell snowball. was that? Radiant that was odd. I think he regretted his decision right when he went to melee yeah. range. Oh, well, it looked cool. I think, Dyer's yeah, the moment he was even in range for the hookshot, he has to start playing jukes all over. Because if he doesn't, he gets hookshot one time and he's out. But the real mistake there is getting in close in the first place. So Clock even had an opening. Mm. I think it was his own choice even to run in there. Um, so, a little bit of a, a rare mistake from S4. I want to point out as well for this game, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like every time we've seen Tusk, it hasn't really been that good, to be honest. But this really? game... Oh, you're talking yeah. about before this game, yeah, okay. Yeah, every time yeah. we've seen Tusk in previous games, we've been a little bit disappointed with the hero's potential compared to what they got out of it. Mm -hmm. No-Tail's been on point with all rotations in this game. They've I don't know always if it's been this tournament successful. or another, but one recently that we cast, I don't know if it was you and me though. Where Tusk got off to a good start and then just dropped off big time. Um, I think it was you and me. Okay. So he did, I mean, we've seen the good start before. The question is, can he sustain it? And it's definitely possible. Yeah. And we talk about this time and time again, the Frozen Sigil, is he going to level it? I mean, right now, all you're getting with Ice Shards is a little bit of cooldown reduction and damage, right? The actual, yep. like, trapping of them in is exactly the same at all levels. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that comes to effect. Nyx Assassin. Vendetta is popped. They seem to be aware. I th Assassination, I think, was just used on G. Yeah. Just as harassment. That is a Mask of Madness, by the way, on Kuroki. Radius really good item on Sniper. Is under attack. Oh, Spike Carapace initiation. That's going to be the Impale. Then the Spike. Oh, and the no. Ultra Zeus is even needed. Oh, the... Okay, Snowball. There we go. That spell has just gotten so much better over the last few patches. Radiance bottom tower has G. been denied. Taking quite a bit of damage from Radiance Sniper. Middle tower is Dive ball Edict from Puppy's gonna Radiance deal a lot of damage in this mid lane as well. And meanwhile, Spectre is farming. Oh never mind, he's in fountain. <laughs> never mind. That's AA in fact. Oh boy, it's a doy. Wrong place, wrong time, and dead. Although misery That's might actually not too bad. Well. That's actually pretty fucking good. Okay, it was good, guys. Forget about it. A three for that one. Was and sniper. Extremely good. <laughs> sniper died top lane to clockwork. Wow. So hookshot must have hit. Yeah, that was pretty much perfect play from the Chikiro. Not by getting caught out, but because he got all his spells Dyer's off. Like, they they dove him attack. into a macro pyre under the tier one, and then he still gets the ice path off in the end. And the follow-up with Haunt is there. This is what VP needs. And Secret needs to be careful, because sure, they've got a good early game, but they can lose it just as fast as they gain it against this kind of lineup. And then you really don't want to do this against well, Spectre. All they need is time. I mean, Spectre did go for the, the same build as last time. Drums and Urn. Didn't work out last time, but they had a... Yeah. They got pushed down pretty fast overall. They didn't have a whole lot of time. He went Blade Mail after that, too. Radiant I'm still completely sold on getting attack. both. It gives him a lot right now, so if VP's game plan now is to find fights, I'm down with it. But if he wants to play for the late game and wants to farm, this effectively just delays him about 2,000 gold. Tower is under attack. So we'll see if they do get to use those drum charges and do find ganks with him. Because he's basically a combat specter right now. And you also see his build. It's full aggression. No point in dispersion. Foreign desolate, foreign dagger. Fairly unusual build these days. You usually get one point dispersion on level 4 or level 8. Value level. It's very dispersion. good on level one. Yep. No tail looking for a kill, won't find it. Ancient Apparition does have the Ice Blast to work with, so keep that in mind. Of course, Yol does have the Sand King, or does have a Blink Dagger on his Sand King. So the initiation possibilities are there. Team fight possibly there as well. Clockwork. Oh, oh, ice path, top lane. Yeah. Gets caught by an Ice Path. Macro is not going to do a whole lot. And that's going to break things up, at least for now. Hey, ult. Look at how much shit they have to throw at Secret. Dyer's middle it does clip too. And the ultimate oh, gee, the that was that really close. Well, still still scary. A lot of damage. I guess he's gonna change it to G. Meantime, he's gonna continue.
continue to get Siege. Haunt has popped. Puppy is going to be the main target of choice. Spectral Dagger will soon follow, I'm sure. Get, oh, a beautiful snowball from Nota. They're going to reinitiate. This might be the wrong move, though. His epicenter is right where they wait. Oh, man. Two dead just like that. Clockwork's the only casualty for VP at the current moment of time. Spectre. Hey, all right, inbound. Right, Keep an bit. eye out for Misery. There we uh -oh. go. Misery. Oh, Shakalaka. That's four. That half HP is well to Doi. Not going to oh, connect with Kuroki. And Kuroki's just going to right click. Along with the help of Zeus, burst damage is definitely there. So this too. Mmm. All right, that was actually close to not killing though. Yeah, they just VP just took a really good fight, and then that last little bit of greed to get Koro just lost them two heroes, and that's that's huge. That basically flipped the fight around. They won it, and then overextended and then lost it. And now John was also going to die in the bot lane. Oh Poppy, my god, if he gets we'll out, <laughs> well, that would have been so good. That was very close. But that, that right there is the biggest danger of Snowball. Well, he had to trade use it to try to save his yeah, it's, a, it's like a back and forth. Like, I, okay, I'll feed my care, you feed yours, then then you can feed yours again. <laughs> Benefits both teams, I guess? I don't know. Like, it's pretty much even overall, I think. Of course, secret with having somebody like Zeus, just such good mid-game potential, mid-game burst damage. Uh, is he going for a blink or anything like that? He went four staff first, actually. Interesting. Well, puppy is spotted. He's spotted by a ward. He wants to ward himself. We'll be getting away with it. Y'all behind enemy very lines. Very intimidated. This is the Owen hey, Wilson Owen. of Dota 2. Surprisingly, that didn't hit Misery. It looked like it would for me. Now, yeah, there's a dagger. Burrow Strike, Sandstorm, everything we use. Snowball on top of Yol. He should be dead in the wall. Response to DPS. is. Puppy pops his ult. Are they actually going to get BZZ? Again, he's probably going to fall. He earns up. He can't quite get through the trees. No tail. Falls to the right clicks of Jakiro, but Spectre did end up dying in that engagement. And now G. He's blocked by his own cogs at this time. And Secret's gonna clean up. So Doi, let the target oh, choices change. <laughs> it's like, oh wait, you're, you're almost dead. Okay, I'll just ult you instead. So that is BCC, four for two. BCC died because of the new urn, right? Couldn't blink? No. Wait, who, who's yes. BCC? <laughs> his oh, you're Spectre about the uh, Spectre. Okay. Yeah, because he got aggressive urn, and then he defensive urn. But the aggressive one removes the defensive one now, because it's pure damage and not... How do you HP feel about removal. that, anyway? I don't know, I think... In a way, oh, I think it's on. fine that... Oh. Oh. Strike on Kuroki. Haunt is used as well as my cat is going absolutely oh, crazy. Is oh, so bald. Walrus Punch is going to finish him off. That's one for one, I believe. Ice Pat's going to connect on No-Tail. He's going to take some liquid fire on top of that, but Kuroki's going to be the main choice. Eight second on Spectral Dagger. No. The Urn. Is that going to be enough now? No. Maybe if he had popped He's Mask out. of Madness. <laughs> he is so freaking fast. That Mask of Madness has really been doing work this game. Repositioning is very crucial for this hero, which is also why you often see competitive snipers get blink. And he does live there. That would have been a very big kill for the Spectre to play. Always big deal when attack. characters carry. Dyer's structures are fortified. Fortifications popped in mid. And it'll be a successful defense by Puppy. Congratulations to the ugliest horse in the game. Is this, it's not a horse. I don't know what it is. I just can't get over how hit. Is this like the ugliest Jay Leno impersonation? I don't know. What Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, I guess it's Abraham Lincoln to some degree. But you can't diss Abraham, man. That guy's legit. Sadoi going to take an assassination to the back of the head. Oh, along with the Zeus ult. But his bottom lane. Oh, boy. Yeah. Dead turn. Bye bye. And that is his third death. He is one and three currently. And sure, Kuroki can't use tower. the shrapnel on tower, but he can still outrange it. It's gonna get oh, fortified. Good to Burrow strike. Hey, oh, is so gonna connect with the snowball. It's gonna hit two. Kuroki pops his mask of madness. Looks like No Tail's gonna be the first to die. G trying to get kind of a Kuroki. He knows he's gonna die one way or another. Does as many right clicks as he can muster. Misery coming back in to the fight. G. He's isolated himself, and he will also go down. Man, Secret are getting some amazing trades. Although Sniper did die, it feels like even though Spectre wasn't even part of that fight, he just dies before every fight, it seems. It's very important that they find the pickoffs on Spectre. This this kind of fight, they can't win with Haunt. But they, they've they really countered BCC nicely, and we can't fault him for not using the drums. He's been using four charges, and he's been involved in the fights, but they haven't been good enough I feel to justify the build. Because now, 
we're reaching the point when Seeker is starting to get big items and he's running around with a drum instead of what could have been maybe a Yasha towards the, uh, Amanta or maybe somewhat close to... Th he could actually have like 3k gold right now. And then the Relic would be in range and they could play for the late game. But they made their choice and now he's going to have to find some kills very soon. Secret accumulating 7,000 gold lead, about 3k on the experience, and they have a lineup that can just snowball out of control as well. Does Dusk he go blade well. mail? What's that? Does he go blade mail, BZZ? On Spectre? Yeah. Oh, I did that last time. I, I I understand the reasoning. It's just I don't think it's going to solve the problem in this game. Because if he doesn't go carry, they won't win. <laughs> they don't have late game apart from him. So I think he has to come up big now. Ooh, Yol almost runs into a couple smoked secret members. Still might. No, Puppy and Company perhaps want to push this tier 2. They're thinking somebody might be hiding in the trees, actually. Not going to find anybody. The Blink Dagger now in Misery. AA ult coming in. That's not AA ult. That is actually a rocket. They look quite different. But both can very, scout Roshan. Very good Very good cosmetic there. on that AA ult. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. Dyer's middle tower okay, is under attack. Plays. And I'm sure you would allow it. Like, of that's course. cool. Why oh, not? Big Daddy. Big Oral Daddy. Strike, bye bye. He gets the snowball. Let's see if off. even gets the kill. I don't think he will. This is gonna go to A. But that is a long snowball. Never mind. Oh my god. He did get it. Oh, shot. Yeah, misery. Ice path. Great cogs as well. Zoning everybody else that was coming on the high ground. And that's that's a nice couple kills there for, for Virtus Pro. It's exactly what they needed, especially with Spectre around, who now has 2,100 gold. If you were the Spectre, what would you get then? Would you go Diffusal? I mean, I, I still think Radiance is probably going to be too late at this point, depending on how things go. Man, it's really hard. I want to I wanna say he should hold his gold for the next two minutes, and if he gets another kill, he should go Radiance. If he doesn't, he should go Manta. It's really cutting it that close. If he gets ganked now, he has to buy the Yasha while he, before he dies. Um, and a couple of TPs probably. See if he has on his quick buy because he is going to be the target. And he should know by now. There's been like a pattern in how Secret are playing this very aggressively. He still don't, doesn't have a defensive war. Oh, Split Earth is going to miss. Nice. Snowball. Walrus Punch is going to get stuck in here. He's going to pop his haunt. Go top lane, then finds Kuroki. Ouch. Ouchie McOucherson. But the counter initiation now onto Kuroki. Takes an AA blast. Yeah, the TP is not going to really help you. Even if you're fine, you're going to pop. So, a carry for a carry, but Sniper gets the kill on Spectre again. And Zeus also Pretty killed big. Clock Mid with the, his ult, so oh. easily favoring Secret, but even if it didn't, like, even if he didn't kill Mid, that would still be a good trade for Team Secret right now. Spectre just needs to die all the time. Oh, Kale from Misery. Is under attack. Just off from Sedoi. Things gonna Dead probably break up now. Get Wreck 3 creeps. Yeah, well, Four there's creeps. running into it. But, uh, okay. He hit the first one one time. What do you That's think about more? Bloodstone Zeus after Force Staff? We've seen it on Fear, I want to say. And it worked out for him. I don't know, I just feel like Blink Dagger is like amazingly good. Veil, Ags, Refresher. Hard to get off against Clock to... A and Spectre, though. Mm -hmm. I'm I wondering what that, alternatives. That death time, Veil, man. his whole team has the sickest of synergy with Veil. Uh, I think that could have been a nice alternative choice, but if he feels like it's going well, which it is, he's 7-1 and 8. If he can rack up a lot of charges on this, that's going to be very nice, of course. Always a somewhat risky investment getting a Bloodstone, but... You know, I just realized, I'm sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. My cat has been going crazy and I can't understand why, as we're going to have a, an AA ult top. Last will connect along with the Clockwork ult, this should be a dead puppy. Not an actual he's not even trying to play. cast. He's like, <laughs> There's no my point. life is forfeit. So, for those of you that don't know, the All Star match was supposed to be cast with cameras, and I bought Radiance a horse mask, and, which is laying on my desk right now, and my cat is enthralled with this like decapitated horse head. <laughs> so that's what the hell she's doing. <laughs> she's obsessed with this freaking horse head, man. Are you serious? That's amazing. <laughs> hey, ult? Or is that a rocket this time? <laughs> oh, rocket. nice. Damn it. It's hard to tell, man. They look the same on the minimap, I think. Here's the AA ult. Alright, this will be pretty good. It's gonna connect on two. Jakira with well. Ice Pat is gonna hit Kuroki, and there's the Burrow Strike Snowball. 
Onto Sedoi is going to save S4 at least for now. He pops all of the spells. And BZZ is going to be the first to fall. In fact, that's the second Jakiro. So two for two. Hookshot is ready. This is a problem for Secret. Yol has Burrow Strike. There we go. S4 is dead. Misery trying to blink out. Gets out successfully. In fact, he's going back Sneaky in with the Impale. Puppy. Wait. Oh, okay. He has his ult, he has Die Wall Edict, doesn't want to cast it. He dies as well. This is going to be close to a team oh, wipe for both teams. How is this fight continuing? G against Misery with Yol just chilling in the back. Now it's a 1v1, just go in, do it. What a play for Miltown, though. Low. That fight would have been an absolute stomp, and they end up getting it fair in the even trade. If he didn't get that snowball off, I think they would have lost it 3 0 and lost the Roach. So. Coming up big again with the snowball timing here. I think he basically, he kept Zeus alive. I think that in the entire fight by doing that. Top or was it Sniper? I can't remember. Either it was S4. He saved Yeah, was the Zeus. And, he got up all and the that spells probably well. means they can claim the Roche too. I'm sure VP know this is going to happen. And G has to Dyer's BKB. Big He's item pickup. Looking for an opening. We'll be throwing a nice AA ult in there in a moment when it's off cooldown. Here comes the AA ult. Sure, that's not a rocket. They're gonna find Nyx. He's gonna scare them off for now. Aol's gonna hit nothing other than Roche. Not gonna be too no, bothered by that. Aol and Rocket, basically the same spell. So G, I thought he was going for the Axe, but it's gonna be BKB first, and oh, obviously got them again. can't really argue with that. Where is Roche Tusk? Is quite low. Where's the clockwork? They're in such a poor position if G jumps in right now, I think. Yeah, but the other heroes are not ready yet. yet. Zeus, oh, there's the initiation from G. He pops the BKB. Kuroki's gonna die before him. Yeah, Puppy's the one that takes the Aegis. Actually, not the worst choice considering the hero, but Sadoi, very low, Yules himself. G and the BKB, man, this is just doing so much work against Secret at the moment. Puppy gets a nice stun, but the Ice Path will help them finish him off, and they're just gonna surround him yet again. Zeus. Get a four staff off or something, I don't think so. Puppy doing a decent amount of damage, but not enough to really get a kill. A oh, haunt is still there. available. A haunt. I can't believe he didn't use this yet. He's gonna haunt in. Use the spectral dagger. There's a first strike on two. Snowball's available. He's gonna get stuck on the ice path. Do you have anywhere to do? Sedoi. Very low. Snowball's gonna connect on Yol. That's gonna be a kill going their way. Wall is punch for the win. Counter initiation yet again. She's gonna get the kill on S4. Big Daddy No Tail has absolutely no mana. He has a charge in Rwanda, though, but it's not going to suffice. Big team fight went for VP eventually. Oh my god, he's going to die. I don't know what's going on anymore. What was that? That was fucking crazy. Zeus died twice, though. He lost so much on that Bloodstone. As Kuro now looking for G. He's going to need a couple of hits. That's he got it. He gets cancelled. Boom! And that's 602 gold down his pocket. Alright, just also to 100% verify, Secret did get Roshan as well as the Aegis, right? I'm pretty sure I that's the case. I think they did, yeah. I don't think there's any way for us to actually check. We can't right. see if the Aegis was snatched anymore, so I don't know. We should. Oh, we can see it on the graph, maybe. Uh, well, but Virtus Pro won that fight so heavily that there's no way. This will come in handy. That we would know for sure. I can't see it on the net worth graph. It doesn't show it as an event. It only shows kills. Well, he is going for a Radiance, so he'll have it very shortly. Wait, it's going to be about a 28 minute Radiance. Does the net worth graph show towers and kills, but not Roshan? Has to destroy a tower. Yeah, the, so under the net worth graph, there's these small buttons. You know, the small green yeah, and red yeah, yeah. blobs. Yeah. And they say who Dyer's killed who, and it says tower destructions, Dyer's but I can't find Roche on there. Does it really not show that? I thought it would show all events. Okay. Also, I just didn't find it, but I'm pretty sure I looked through it. Dyer's top tower There's the radiance. Is under oh, this is a really on, big pickup. Spectre picks up the radiance, Sindarin. Yeah. Right choice. You see, did it. 27 minutes, decent timing when you have urn and drum. And the game is going oh, this way. I think it's good enough. Zuzo. That's a very dead area. Yeah. Yol's gonna get out. This one could become a nail biter at this rate. Secret have to find a way of dealing with the Spectre in fights from now on. They've been able to somewhat manage not getting run down by him, but with Radiance, that's out of the question. If BZZ gets onto Kuro, oh, Kuro has BKB. So with that there, BZZ might actually need another item before he can beat Kuro 1 1. Kuro can pop Mask Madness and BKB and just hit him and win the battle with the Maelstrom as well. So. Uh, it's yeah, not, still needs a bit it's more not looking too grim for them, actually. They are also ahead of unexperienced in gold, so don't get me wrong, but at this point in time, 
an item like Bloodstone is really deceptive on the net worth graph because it now has four charges, so it's really not as valuable as the money you've invested into it. He's gonna need to stack that up soon. He's I'm going he for suicided a suicided in that last engagement. Then I didn't see that. But... Yeah, he did. But either way, going for, for one fight in flying colors. So Doi going for the 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 pipe of insight. Rarely see it anymore. Has the Yules as well. Uh, you talked about Kuroki having the BKB, of course, the Maelstrom and Mask of Manus on top of that. Uh, not quite the glass cannon that we're used to seeing. Holy and there's the Clockwork Agonist Scepter. Man, this is one of the most farmed clocks you'll see. He only has 80 CS, but he has a net worth of... He has the highest net worth on the team, 11.2k. This is a really big and scary inventory at this point. No one can kill him. Like, if he's a BKB, there's no counter. Sniper, a lot of his damage is magical right now with the Maelstrom buildup. Assassinate, obviously not going to work either. If he jumps in on Sniper, Sniper just spots BKB, then Clockwork can't do any damage. Are there any four staffs on the on Seeker right now? There's one on, on Zeus. S4, but then Kuroki can't have BKB first. So right, that's, that's situational. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, they want to jump here? Misery? I honestly don't know who you pale. want to go on here, Nyx. Uh, if you're Clock, if you even want to jump to the uh, Sniper, he's your best target. I think catching out the Nyx is really good. Mm. Catch Nyx, use BKB, it's a free kill. He has no way out unless Zeus can force, and even then you can probably follow through with a Blink Tanking or a Haunt. And with Nyx out of the picture, they lose their, I want to say, second most reliable stun after Snowball, which is also not that reliable. Sure, you're going to hit, but you don't know where and when. Is that one of the main reasons S4 chose to go for staff over Blink? As he's going for Veil now, by the way. That was because um, of Clock. Oh wait. for sure, definitely. Factor this is a Dagon, actually. Sorry, uh, be sorry. Say it again. He definitely got four staff over Blink. Clock factored into that. And Haunt, I'm guessing as well, to some degree. Clock Haunt, Aeolt, can't Blink from that either. Rocket. There's so many things that mess with Blink. I don't think he should get a Blink all game. Thoughts Sedoi? on Dagon for S4? I feel like he's gonna run into the oh, boy. and Sand King. No challenge here, gets them in the snowball, it's gonna dodge Cheese ult, it's gonna punch Chikiro up into the air. Gets a nice McAfee overall though, S4 quite low, Big Daddy as well, G pops BKB, BZZ. Wants to go back in the head. Oh, Kuroki's hit by Ash Blast. Oh man, Kuroki. What a perfect ult from Dark. Two for one. They could continue on. This is an Aghanim Scepter Clockwork. You can't underestimate this. Puppy pops BKB. He's going to dodge the Burrow Strike. It's a nice stun on the BZZ. That's going to be the kill going their way. G could still reinitiate if he really wants to. He's going to go straight for Misery and just decimates him. Instigate. Puppy. Cold snap. Or cold feet, I should say. Right, the center is like, hey. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> well, in the end, two for four. Both this is the best. Guys. This is the best Tusk game I've ever seen. That's there's pretty much no contention for me anymore. Like, I believe he blinked Snowball defensively, yes, right? It is such a good item on Tusk to get that blink. And he is. I think Notel is doing almost everything right in this game. VP are still playing exceptionally well, so you don't see the fights really going in the going the way of Secret at this point because VP have an exceptional fighting lineup themselves, but. I want to say, if not for these snowballs, this game could have been almost like a 10 or 15k gold lead for VP. That's how big a difference he's made. This play might, however, not be the best one. He can blink in two seconds if he really wants to go. Good shot. Not looking for it. Something we might want to mention. I don't know how big of a difference this actually makes. Maybe you could uh, give me some insight. The ultimate from Tusk, Walrus Punch, it was changed to an, a single target... What's it called? I mean, it's it's... You have to click on the hero instead, but you can also auto cast it. So it's, it could technically be used the same way that the old one was, but I think it's used for accidental misclicks upon like you initiation. Could, you could, right? in a way, call it an orb effect with a long cooldown, right? In a way, although it okay, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't override. If you have like Desolator, that also works on the Warrior's Punch hit. But it's like if you think of how Poison Attack works for Viper, it's basically the same oh, interaction just with Melon. Oh, Spectre gets blown up. G-Pop BKB again, S4 quite low, but he's in the safety of his he own forgot to use his DD, he's gonna use it now. That's kinda okay. late. Sure, he's gonna get Kuroki bolted to the ground. Bye-bye, Yol. This is a definite team fight one for Secret. Blunders all around from VP reinitiation. Oh, what a shrapnel too. The power Last of the shrapnel. second. Four for nil. It's all about catching the Spectre, seriously. That's 
That's the way they win the fights. Because if they try to buy back there and haunt, they would have probably taken the fight. But secret, really finding the right code at the right time. And this tower is going to go down. It could potentially push for tier 3 and force a buyback. Radiant structures are fortified. Sniper hits like a beast. Has a Lothar. God dang. Shadow Blade now. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Very, very low. He goes 522. There's no problem. And they're going to back out. A little bit of a bonus. Forcing a buyback out of the clockwork is very nice. It's a very expensive one. He's high level. And we're just going to pull away. All right. We were about to talk about yeah. this. Okay, we might have to wait again. G. Runs into misery but doesn't know about it yet. G wants to. He's looking for an initiation, but ain't going to happen. Okay, Dagon. S4. We've seen this before on Zeus, but typically it's in games when you're you have the obvious lead, and I don't think that's the case here. What are your thoughts on that? Over something like a Veil, or something that maybe more survivability like an Axe, even Refresher. For Zeus? Yeah. He's upgrading I, the Dagon too. Yeah. It's a really good way of dealing with Spectre. Just having massive single target damage before he gets too tanky is a very good way. Oh my oh, god, a Kuro, beautiful a double burrow strike. Kuroki off the BKB should be oh, able to get out Misery. Dodge the out as very well. nicely done. Uh, well played by both sides. Yeah. Is easy, gonna attempt Kuro, to chase even BKB's more. BKB's gonna end, this is a problem. He has Haunt. Let's see if he needs a double TP action from Secret. Yule gonna get initiated on and blown up very shortly after. Okay, somewhat shortly after. BP might still be thinking about this. They forced up so. BKB from Kuro. The Radiant, or the Diagers used a lot of cooldowns. Well, Spectral Dagger is ready. G, if G can there. get an opening, I think they should go for this. Yules, and he will find a wonderful one. Gets one hero on the Cogdo, it's Puppy who has the BKB himself. Dyer's He's going to take pretty much no damage from the clock. But the right click still deal quite a bit. BZZ doesn't really want any part of this. The Dagon coming into effect with a snowball. There it is. Down he goes yet again. A two for one right now. Clockwork misses the hookshot. He's going to try to go 1v2, 1v the world. And you can only guess how that goes. Sadoi, Ice Pass is not going to hit. And he's just going to get right clicked. Oh, there's the Yules. If he gets a little bit of vision from Trapple, he doesn't have enough, he does have enough mana. He can just right click in all likelihood. Okay. <laughs> That's new Shrapnel in a nutshell. Dyer's top tower has fallen. I've read a lot of comments on the new shrapnel, and a lot of people thought Sniper got nerfed, and I was like, what? I I just totally disagree. Dyer's I think this, if you look at this top. game, it's a pretty good example of how, if you think of how much Kuro has got out of Radiant's this multi-shrapnel, I think it's really good. The only nerf is that you can't hit buildings, which sure, matters a lot, but did you really draft Sniper as mainly as a pushing hero? Because then you would probably get something else. Dyer's He's just so much better at fighting now. Attack. You saw at least Kuro thinks of it the same way. He's still maxing Shrapnel, even though it doesn't damage buildings. Radiant's bottom tower is to me, he's got so much value out of that ability this game. And has a full Mjolnir now, along with the Shadow Blade BKB. Hey, offline. Seven seconds on the BKB now. I don't think they're getting this one. Sand King could jump in on them right now with Epic. He could get three kills almost. S4, do they see them? No vision in the pit. It's a level three ult as well. He's oh, thinking about it. Does it get canceled? It does! It's gonna be useless! He can't even force that in the right direction. He's gonna get dagged. He almost goes down. Almost goes out of the Thunderbolt at the last second. BKB pop by Kuroki. This is gonna be a free Roche, I do believe. Big win for Secret. That's this, a really big play by S4. And he and didn't even have vision on. there. This frozen Sick. sigil. Josh is going to be the consolation. They'll take that and probably transition to a tier 2 bot. That cancellation of the epicenter was, if they go on to win this game, that's the play of the game in my opinion. That I think was they, didn't even, they didn't even have vision there, right? There wasn't a ward that just expired. He just guessed it. I believe that so. Tanking went there. I mean, there's nothing right Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. That kind of foresight is pretty, pretty exceptional. So. That's a tower. Will they be getting any more? Is the question. DP. I still feel like they can win these fights with a little bit more edge, but they need to do. <laughs> this well, tusk has to be shut down. Spectre has a really vitality it, booster. It could be a casual one into a manta or something like that, and then a heart later, or it could just be a heart right off the bat. Um, which do you think would be I like more manta beneficial? A I like manta, manta a lot. first. Okay. Yeah. So if you look at how the fights are going, BZZ, it's not that his main Spectre can't survive long enough. It's that he's not a big enough threat. 
And with Heart, it's the same story where they just keep kiting him and controlling him. But if he has a Manta, he deals so much more damage when there's any sort of initiation from Clockwork or Sand King, Ice Path with Yules, whatever, attack. you name it. He needs to find a single target, and with Manta, he deals double damage, basically. So. Tier 2 tower. Dead. Bottom tower. They trade Misery is Ail finding BZZ. Karoki. This is a big kill if there is follow up. He cannot do this on his own. Dead, this is from Lash. Remember, that's an auto stun from Spike Carapace because of the Radiance. And with the TP, boots of travel from S4. It's too much too much damage to speak of. BZZ does have fight. Was Secret this the game that Batrider here. was available to pick? Yeah. yeah. Pretty a hook shot onto the Yule's target, which is Kuroki pop BKB right away. And Yule's in there as well, but he can't do anything. All magic damage, and the right clicks continue for, for Kuroki into a snowball. Who are they going for? Looks like the target of choice is Yule. He gets punched directly in the air. Buyback from Spectre. Kuroki gets decimated thanks to that Ice Blast. Aegis will pop, however, Jotam. Trying to right click as much as he can, but only so much he can do. G. He's doing a lot of damage to Kuroki. He gets four staffed out. He can probably come back and just right click him. There you go. Four alive for Secret, all quite low, however, other than S4. We have a lot of earned charges on Lesh. Two remaining. On a. A. This is a really nice intimidation fight. He doesn't have ult yet, but Secret right. think, they, think he does. This is a strict mind game from Jotam. They don't even need to be scared, but they're all backing off. He's reducing their building damage Radiant tremendously here. There's no follow-up, though. No one else can buy back. Ouchie, ouchie. Now he has ult, though. Can't try for it, maybe Even so. If he hits yeah, Misery, Misery's gonna die. Oh. oh, blink at the last second. It does hit Kuroki, but it's not gonna prevent the Rax from going down. Down it goes. S4 will be finishing off a deck in 5 very shortly. Uh, needless to say, it seems to have worked out quite well. <laughs> Pipe on Jakiro now. It's a very Which good item against the Dire lineup. I think it's just too late for VP. If they could have had this a little bit earlier. If Spectra had Manta now, which I don't think is a too big ask when he got the Radiance 27, in the last 14 minutes he's got a Vitality Booster. That is easily the time you get a Manta if the game goes a little in your favor. But every single fight he's died, they haven't been able to get good enough trades. And as a result, in Secret, it seems like Kuroki survived a lot of the fights. Even though he has 9 deaths, he still is really out farming Spectre by his twice his net worth. Oh, he does have quite a few more kills as well. <laughs> Nine yeah, more kills right sure. now. But his CS too. Spectre has 189 or 187. Kuro has about 100 more. So just getting way more out of the map as well. What does he get for 6,000? A butterfly? Oh, relax, let's see. Daedalus? Oh, Scotty. Daedal I love Daedalus it. would be nice. Scotty's good too. I love Scotty. You can kite so easily. I mean, the slow from that, the slow from... Is it still called headshot? Yeah. Okay. I feel like if you get headshot, you're not going to be slowed. You're going to be stunned. But maybe it's called it horse scouting. shot instead. Boom, there it goes. Are you looking for a possible initiation or just scouting it out? Misery's done a really good job of finding these ganks. And with the boots of travel, I mean, it's like two heroes are there every single time. And then Zeus ult on top of that if he's not able to TP in. He does have some reinforcements here. There's the Impale, Vendetta as well. S4 biding his time. Ice Bat's gonna miss. They're just gonna play this safe. 10 second BKB on Misery, by the way. Force into Vendetta. is all over again. Level 16, there's like a 5 second. Is there even a downtime? I don't even know. Hook shot. And I think he can be on so really late. It's extremely late, and of course, Wall of Punch just goes directly through that. Oh, it's gonna be a really easy kill for Secret. Meanwhile, bottom lane. That was a pretty nonsensical hook shot as well. Okay. Spectre dies again. There's no buyback in sight. And this might do it. This might game make this over. go to a game five. Which is what I predicted at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And look at yeah, this. Yeah, but you said Secret was gonna lose this game. What? I did? Yeah, uh, GG's your, original, no, no. your original prediction was five games, and then you said with this draft, Radiant's I think we no, 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 that, that didn't count as my prediction, Cinder. Don't try to twist my words now. Come on now. Yeah, sure. I said at the beginning of the, the, beginning of the series, go we'll five games. I still think Vert's Pro might take it. It's well, close back though. when I was a little kid. Back when I was a little rascal back in the days. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is game four, and the deciding game for the grand finals of the Captain's Draft 2.0 between Team Secret and VP. Coming up next, unless you want some, uh, I want to say,